Hi, welcome back to Realmtale. In the last episode, we built this beautiful building, which I am standing on in the start here. This thing is absolutely amazing. I'm so proud of this building. In today's episode, we're doing a little bit of a christmas theme spectacular. I've just been uh, told that the Secret Santa prank ward that we signed up in the last episode is now available to check out. So I'm going to check that out now because the button is now open to press. I want to make sure I'm one of the first people to press it. So I'm going to head over there now. A couple of people are online at the moment, but I want to make sure I'm the first to press said button. But alas, my plan of being the first person to press the button was shortly abrupted when I met T. You know, T, I think rock, paper, scissors, but in Minecraft, I don't know how that works. Because rock, paper, scissors. Wait, hold on. You wait, just I write, have, wait, I have, write three, I have two, one, rocks. and then we yes, just. I have rocks. <laughs> the gunpowder uh, is rock. Uh, here you can have some uh, scissors, I guess. Uh, I have, I, I have scissors. I have scissors. And I guess shears. Oh, shears. Oh, yeah, yeah. shears. Shears. <laughs> a piece of stone, right, and right. then paper. paper Surely. Paper. I don't we have, have paper. paper. Uh, no one has I don't, paper. I don't. But that would okay. be the best way to shoot. figure out. Funi's just. Bro, I was gonna go. He's just gonna. <laughs> Damn. Bye. All right, I'm next. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, wait, oh push, wait, thanks push for your... Thanks for... Actually, I'm wondering... Wait, 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 wait. T, we both, we both picked up one piece of paper each. N no, I took it. Here, you can Did have you the pick prank. Did you pick up one? I picked wait, up wait, the wait, prank. Wait, guys, you picked I can up clear the this up. I can clear this up for you guys. Who got the name? Who got the... Who got I the got thing? the prank, and I T got, got the name. name. Okay, now I'm gonna press the button. No, wait. Who pressed the button? I did, but we both got one piece of paper each. the button now, and now swap. Okay, 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 okay. Just pick up... T just picked up both. Picked up both. Whatever, well, whatever one you didn't get, give it okay. to me. You two guys had yeah. one job. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah. <laughs> oh lord. Okay. Well, Coden, you had. Okay, let's shake hands, Josh. That was, yeah, a, yeah, that was I had very an opportunity. transactional. Yeah, I had an opportunity Hi. to join this game, but yeah, I'm <laughs> kind of lazy, so. <laughs> oh my god. Fair enough. Well, I now know what what needs to be done. Uh, I so I also know what needs to be done. I just need right, to do all it. Right. All right. Well, I'm gonna ah, dude. I, I'm gonna go gather <laughs> blocks for this. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, See oh, you guys. Bye. Well, yeah. Good. 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 Uh, good. Yeah. That was that was good. Okay. Bye, guys. Have, uh, have a have a good day. Oh, we're going the same way. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. I'll go the other way. So there we have it. We have our secret Santa pranky and our prank. That means that we have to prank Foony. We have to prank Foonie with a giant Santa hat at their base. So uh, this is going to be something very interesting for the episode. I, I have a good way to get it. I'm going to try my best to just get a whole ton of red wool and then just go from there. I He's living in a mountain area, so I'm going to hope, hopefully cover a mountain. That should be my plan. It's it's interesting. I have it all planned out. But first, it's a Christmas-based episode. we got to get ourselves Christmassy. So if I'm good with what I can do, ready for this, guys? Ready for this? There we go. Look at that little skin transition. We got our nice Christmas skin all decked out. Even the cape, or I guess it's the elytra. It's a custom elytra on Realm Tail. Look at it. It's beautiful. And the best part, snow layer, iron helmet. Bam. We're now wearing snow on my head. So we're going to prank Foony here with a giant Santa hat. So I'm going to work on gathering a whole ton of blocks for the prank, and we'll get right into pranking him. All right, so I have made the secret little mini game fun extra bit to the secret Santa part for Funi. Now, obviously, Funi knows that it's me at this point if he's watching this video. First of all, hi, Funi. Second of all, uh, I, you've now known that I built the giant Santa hat at your base, and you probably have found the cords to this area. If you're watching up to this point, stop, Funi, because because this is going to be some bad spoilers. So, for all of you watching, I just went through a separate portal. Foonie's not going to have access to this portal. He's going to have to fly in the overworld using this book. This is the book I'm going to leave for him. It's a little bit, like, fancy. It's got, like, you know, special characters. This just adds a little bit of mystery. Also, Secret Santa. I'm trying to follow the, like, idea that, oh, if this was a real thing, the Secret Santa people would know it's me because they could read my handwriting, but in this case, I'm using special characters, so they wouldn't. So it's like, Merry Christmas. I'm your Secret Santa. Hope you enjoy the Santa hat, which has, hasn't been built yet, but by the time he reads this, it will be. Uh, read the next page. For more fun, go to this coordinates in the overworld. But wait, those chords are wrong. I give a little bit of info. You have to add 69 to the first number. You have to square root the second number and then multiply by two or multiply by negative two for the third number. And I said, if you're stuck, go to those chords. So these are the real chords, negative, whatever. These right here are the real chords. Again, Funi, if you're watching, you've just foiled the whole thing for you. So those are the chords. I'm pretty sure they bring you to this exact block. 
So if he does the courts correctly, they bring him to this exact block right here. Now this is going to be left at his base. And this is the bit of the little bit of the actual fun part. He's, I make sure I tell him to record from this point on. He's probably going to be recording regardless, but you know, just make sure this will all be gone as well. So just to give him no hints, he's going to go on in, in here. Uh, we have this area. This is where he has to uh, set his spawn because yeah, it's basically there. Okay. So this, this is broken. I'm going to have to fix that, but this door would be shut. I'd be like, don't flip until you read the book. Hello. And welcome to your real secret Santa gift. You're a Fox, right? You care about other foxes, right? Well, there's one stuck in this escape room. Go save the fox. Yeah, so that's basically all it is. Good luck. I just changed this in this room because I'm gonna leave everything he has in his inventory here. Set his spawn. So he's gonna go in basically completely naked. Uh, this is broken, but uh, the whole idea is that he's gonna think the door's here, but in reality, the door's right here and it's just hidden. I wonder why this redstone's broken. I have to fix this. He's gonna head in. Uh, this pressure plate will be moved one over. So as soon as he goes in, it's gonna trigger another thing that will block him in here so he can't leave. So if he dies, he's basically failed the challenge. This run sign says, grab everything from this room. It's the mine shaft. Careful, if you jump down, there's no going back. So he's gonna grab some things like the old crusty bread, a dusty book, which we should just grab the dusty book and look at this pattern right here. He's gonna take this with him, obviously. I'm not going to take it with me, uh, but that is a pattern that will come into play later. A training sword, he's gonna take that as well, probably. Hopefully he finds these buckets, which are possibly used to prevent avalanches. Same with those there. And then the leather boots as well, which I should rename. Uh, toasty, as you can see, typing again like that. All right, uh, there we go. So he's gonna head down here. Again, once he goes down, there's no heading back. I'll put a block there when I'm all done. Burr, it's quite cold. It got cold in here. So he's gonna like, you know, go down here. Watch out for avalanches. They look like powdered snow. Hopefully we held back the avalanches within the walls. So if he grabbed those two buckets, hopefully he did because he's not going to be able to grab them. I mean, he can kind of do it. So hopefully he does grab them. Uh, he can grab the powdered snow. That's not powdered snow. There's a ton of like bait powdered snow. But if he finds the real powdered snow, it's hidden in here somewhere. He's going to have to make sure you safely remove two powdered snow to prevent avalanches, then drop down. It's kind of a bit of lore to tell him to make sure he grabs some powdered snow. He's going to drop down here. Uh, this dirt will be gone, but he's gonna drop down here and now he's suck I purposely made it where he's gonna have two powdered snow blocks plus the boots So he's gonna be able to you know climb on the powdered snow so he could go one two and he's still not gonna be able to get out So four block fall here and then he's gonna have to bridge using the powdered blocks So, you know switch every other over the lava. There's a maze right here uh, As a side quest, so he's gonna have to kind of do a bit of a detour here Which should be a little bit difficult for him to get is this even possible? Wait a second now it's possible. That was almost terrible. Make sure you pick the right path. Right is capitalized. So he's going to think, oh, I got to go all rights here. So he's going to go all rights. And it just says lol JK. So if you go back to the actual spot here, uh, the dusty book that I showed before, I kind of put it in chat left, right, left, left, right, right. So if you follow that from the middle, it's going to be left here. So take a left, then it's right, then it's two lefts. So it's left, left, right, right. Uh, I think one more right. So I should, you know what, he'll figure it out. <laughs> Remember this, 5, 3, 4, 0, 1. Uh, so that is what he has there. 5, 3, 4, 0, 1. That will come into play later. Again, this is just like collecting things. I'm getting lost in my own maze. There we go, okay. And he's out of here. I'll have the powder snow here. You can get back here and just keep bridging along. Only enter if you know the code. So this is making sure he doesn't just go down without it. Uh, bam, he's in. Again, he can't bridge back out with the powder snow. Uh, there would be stone here to block up these, but so let's let's mimic that. Still have that stone uh, or the the sword. So that's the training sword I talked about. If he, do I even have? I don't. Wait, where's? I guess I don't have it. Okay, never mind. I had a shovel that I used to practice. If you put the sword in, there's like an item filter that will uh, remove these pistons. And then this is the final room. Read the book first. Welcome to the final room. Enter the correct code to pro to progress. If the code doesn't go through, it's wrong. Good luck. This fox is relying on you. Hint, turn the page. So if you suck, he can turn the page. Uh, he has a lot of paper and some bottles of enchanting. 55 paper. That's a little trick to see if he can actually figure out who the secret Santa is. Although he probably will know if he's watching this right now. All right. Uh, going on, the hint is be like, I've been typing like this for a reason. Hint, turn the page. So there's some hints. The code 534 whatever this this code down here that actually re corresponds to letters so the reason i've been typing like that was for two reasons one obviously to keep it hidden but also to translate to letters so that is the code he has to type in not 53401 he has to type in s-e-a-a-o-i it's a hard thing to say but he has to type in that into this and if he does that it will also remove these pistons and bam 
He's found the fox. I couldn't find a fox, but, you know, free him by right-clicking that, and he's done. So I'm going to patch up everything here. The stone should be patched up, and I'll also grab some torches here. But I'm just going to do some final finishing touches here, and basically this whole maze is done. If you guys want to see this maze done for real and hopefully not mess up, go watch Funi's video because I'm sure he will record this section, uh, and you definitely want to see that. So I will hopefully leave a link to his video in the description once he does it. Uh, I'll update the description and you'll put it in there. But as of right now, he has not uploaded it or I haven't even uh, sent it to him. So there's no way he could do it. But uh, when when that happens, uh, I'll make sure you guys can see the video uh, through the description. So yeah, I will finish up the escape room and we can work on building the main part, which is the Santa hat. So I've arrived at Funi's base and I'm looking at some of the hills here because I want to build the Santa hat on the hill. I'm seeing that hill, it's a little wide. And then I looked at this hill, not only is it the, like the center of this base, it's kind of just on its own. I think we could definitely do it on this peak here. We're going to kind of ignore the back part, so the sand hat might be kind of cut off. But it's going to look good in the front, you know, and that's all that matters. Is that he's going to come through that portal, or spawn in from this base when he logs in, and just see a giant Santa hat taking up basically that whole top peak here. So, I'm going to start the time lapse. I'm sure the music's already started. Let's go. And there we have it. There is the giant Santa hat built on Funi's base. Uh, needs a little bit more touching up, I think, here and there. But uh, for the most part, this thing is basically finished. I mean, this is what the pranks said to do. Giant Santa hat. Now, I know it's kind of a jerk move to make it all out of wool. So it's not, like, easily destroyed. But, you know, I feel like that adds to the prank aspect. And if Funi, Funi will figure out this is me, obviously, I'm going to post the video. If he really wants uh, help cleaning it up, I can help him out because... Uh, I would also kind of like this wool back, so it's kind of a win-win. I help cleaning up his base, and I, I get the wool back. Uh, it's up to him, though, but I would be glad to help out. So, that is basically the Santa hat all finished. I want to add some extra bits here for the secret Santa part, so I brought a red shulker here, uh, and the rest of everything else is in here. So I'm going to, you know, put, like, please read in here and everything like that, and set it up for Funi. There we have it, a little please open from the secret Santa. You're going to open it. The books in there all the torches pop off which is kind of a kind of a surprise but they're there just so he sees it if he doesn't then everything else is kind of ruined but you know hopefully he finds finds it i'm sure he will uh so funi sorry about it but not sorry at the same time prank completed so since i've just finished funi's secret santa prank and i myself has entered into the F secret santa prank i've been secret santa pranked that's a lot of secret santa pranking but look at this I've been, I have a giant pig now just chilling right next to the CGF building. He's kind of hidden here. He's kind of holding on to the side, which I think is pretty cool. I love this. This is a great build, by the way, which makes it very hard to narrow down who's built this. Because if I had this prank, I would probably have just done concrete. But who's ever built this put a lot of effort in because this is actually a really good build. I hear pigs in here. Wait a second. How? Are, who, who's done this? Who's put pigs inside the pig? Wait a second. We're going to get into this pig. I'll just in here, I guess. I'm gonna get into this pig. Bro, who's who's gone through this effort? This is so funny. Who's done this? Oh my gosh, dude. This is actually so dead this is some dedication. Who's ever done this? You're a madman. You're actually insane. This is crazy. I'm keeping this here. This is gonna stay for a bit. This is gonna be I'm, ideally, I'd like to move this pig. I'll take a crud ton of screenshots of this pig. We're moving him. He's gonna stay at the at the. This is great. He's gonna stay at the city. Oh, you know, one day I'll just put him here. I don't know. Maybe the whole thing won't stay. I, one would be really good because again, this pig might not fit that well in the city. But maybe just has, like his head like peeking out of like a, a ground, like he's ripped through the dirt at one section in one of the sections. Because that is such a good build. That is such a good build. I don't know who's done this, but this is so good. Well, there we go. That's a secret Santa Frank. I know you're supposed to be kind of upset about pranks, but I'm, I'm absolutely happy. This is so sick. And, and, like I said about the foodie prank, I, I needed wool, and now I have a ton of wool. This is perfect. I love this. Thank you, who's ever done this. Not even upset. I love it so much. I don't know who it was. I guess that's the point of the secret Santa bit. But there we go. We've been pranked in a way that I love. So thank you. All right. Well, with my prank now fully being delivered and me pranking the others mostly phony. I'm going to call that an episode for today. This is probably going to be my last video of the year, 
and this is probably going to release on Christmas. So if you're watching on Christmas, Merry Christmas. If you're in the future, well, uh, Merry 2022 Christmas, I guess. This is when it was released. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great holidays, all of that jazz. Have a good year. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more.